All right, what's good, y'all? We're back. 1020. We're going to go ahead and start off with the trade review for 1019. See what happened in the market while I was not watching. Laying in bed sick. Uh, I feel a bit better now. Food poisoning is not fun. So let's go ahead and check this out. Let's go in. Okay, so we have price double break. And it looks like. We have potential trade set up here, but just for the record, I didn't trade anything yesterday. So we just have price play around in this area. We say this demand zone price has played around in there. It actually dropped below. V1, V2 started to, starting to break back up, but otherwise no trade for me. So yeah, it looks like it's starting to go Slightly bullish again. We have a bullish day today. But no trade. And that's pretty much that. There's really no analysis on this. I mean, besides, it came down into the zone, double break, and we were, it did what we wanted it to do. It came back down and broke, broke down again, and then it broke up really sharply, hitting this breaker structure line that we had put in there yesterday. And it came back. What we would want to see is we want to see it mitigating in some zone in here. And it looked like, I mean, there could have been a small play in there somewhere, probably on the 15 second. But I put this there because I was looking at it on my own time. So actually, might as well look at it now, right? Let's take it back, take it back, take it back, y'all. All right. Let's go to the 15 second. Because, you know, we like trading on those super low time frames. And if we go to the one minute, actually, let's go to the one minute first. When it breaks up. We see there has to be some particular zone in here that we'd be looking for. So let's go ahead and if it broke there, you know, broke back down there, it finally broke above here, right? And then we would say somewhere in here, we'd be looking for some type of mitigation. But it looks like, you know, a lot of this area has been mitigated. I mean, there's some places you can argue, but you even see it still plays around in there. As a mitigation. So then what do we go down to the maybe do this from 30 second? Uh wow. Yeah, I mean if you do it 30 second, I, that mitigates perfectly. But that is calling that a zone is is pretty crazy to be in my it, just in my opinion. <laughs> but it does mitigate down here. Now, where would you go ahead and take the trade here? Well, we could say that 30 second zone breaks down MB1, MB2. So maybe we buy stop this. But then you see it's an L because it comes back and it taps back into there. So bam, break. Break. Comes back, retest. MB1, MB2. Potentially take something like this. Put it below there. See what we could have got for. So we probably would have took one loss before we felt confident in getting back into the trade because you can see breaks down, comes back up, right? And then it starts breaks down again. One, two, right? Little pullback, little pullback, and then up, right? You could do something super risky like that. But again, would I have had the balls, the webes to do it? Uh, whew, it's a tough one because usually I don't have my stops so so close and depending on the broker I'm using and really the account size could you have taken that who knows so anyways that's that's the Nasdaq we look at it and we start trying to see what is actually happening on price I mean, you see this nice little 30 second zone you could have refined it down to a 15 second if you really really wanted to but you see it tapped in starts to come up break one right because we should technically consider this a break because we're risque and then right break up break two and it comes back and retest hmm interesting we might have to go back and, and do some uh go back to the basics again but anyways that's what we could see on nasdaq how do i get out of this now this is interesting because they put it down here so that i can click the x here okay that's cool 
All right, so let's go to the five minute. Oh, five month. Woo. Woo. What is the day looking like? That break below. Mm. I mean, the daily looked like we had a bullish divergence if you just look here, right? Is this in the zone? I mean, is anything in the zone these days? We had a bullish divergence. Theoretically, what we want to see, we want to see price start to come up, which it did, you know, hit that green dot. It started to kind of come up, but should, where should we see it come up to? That's the real question. You bet on the American economy, which, I mean, projected 2023 to 2025, right? Probably 1% <laughs> year over year growth. GDP? I don't know, man. I don't know. Where why you have these uh Asian countries like China and India who have well over four, six, eight, ten percent GDP growth. So we'll see. All right, so let's go ahead and jump over to the Euro. All right, so when we look at the Euro, okay, we see a break here, and then we never saw it come back into the zone where we wanted to see it come back into, so Obviously, there's no trade going down there. So, what do we do now? We got an hour. Uh, yeah, we just we didn't have any trade here, so there's really nothing to analyze, in my opinion, because it didn't do anything that we wanted it to do. So, let's go ahead and go to gold. Move, move that indicator. All right, looks like gold is coming up into this supply zone that we want to see. So, we might have something start the day off i mean we're green it looks like it's going to be a green day <laughs> uh look at that on the six potentially because that's a low that we want to run that's on the hourly so we look for the confirmation uh i mean yeah i think it it has room to come back up more if what we want to see is we want to see the break here and then come back and retest or really just break above and then break a low and then double in the entry off of this because it's looking like it's starting to become a juicy setup juicy 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 what do they say juicy fruit but anyways from yesterday it didn't do anything it didn't come back up in here yesterday so there was no trade on gold yesterday for me maybe for some other people though so let's go ahead and go to bitcoin what's bitcoin doing right now bitcoin seems that we didn't go ahead and do any analysis on bitcoin so that is going to be the end of our trade review for 10 19 22. i hope you learned something hit the comments hit that like and subscribe and continue with me on this journey to become consistently profitable i hope you all have a wonderful glorious day it's your man b phil i'm out peace